All right, guys. Sorry, it's a little dark this morning. It's about 5:30 a.m. Uh, we're going on autocross event week two. So it's been two weeks exactly since that last video that we posted of the event, and we got a whole bunch more cars out. I got a whole bunch of other footage planned, and I'm just gonna throw this GoPro up in a couple of different cars and get some different shots of other cars. And yeah, anyway, kind of in a rush this morning, but as usual, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna try to post up, film as much as I can today. Uh, it'll probably be like 90% GoPro footage though. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This one's gonna be a fun one. Hey, we take my gas cap off, please. <laughs> awesome. Are you excited? Okay, Dude, check it out. I got it. Show him. N89 in the Jetta. Dude, I'm glad you got it registered. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Hey. I don't think it's you. I want to I want to think it's not you. But there's a big ass puddle under there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't even show the viewers yet, but we got some my Anki ER01s on here, wrapped in Nitto Neo Gens, brand new tires. Just installed them for yeah, the brand event. New wall season. Brand new all seasons, dude. <laughs> Cannot beat that. Nothing but the best out here. All right, guys, we're all checked in, ready to go. We got our cars all registered. Everyone's over here, obviously loading up. Jessica's Jeep with all of our stuff from our cars, so we're like four hours early, so not gonna be rushing today. Junior's car is all dialed. My car's good. All of our helmets are certified. We're good. Want to narrate? You want to tell them what's going on? Then time lapse the course. Then time lapse the course. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fast, it looks, well, maybe not necessarily fast, but it's a lot bigger than the last course oh, we were yes, at. All right, so these two yellow cones are the start, and then I'm gonna start this time lapse right here. So right here, the cones that are standing up, you're able to go whichever way you want. You just gotta look at your best path. The end of the track, boys. Yes, yep, so we've got timing all set up right here. Slow. That's me. And then, yeah, this is your hey, shut down right here. Mm. Yeah. Hey, novices, let's start a novice walk here in just a few minutes if you want. Way ahead of um, you. I'm probably going to end up doing it. I have the bright green hat on. I'll start walking over there and we'll start uh, around nine o'clock. All right, brother, you feeling confident? You feel like I you got the course? Actually, cool. I feel like I've got it down pretty no, you good. got it. It's not that bad. I remember when I was young watching YouTube videos of this and thinking this is going to be horribly bad, yeah, bro. Yeah. Okay. No, after yeah. you, like, if, you're, if you hear your name, you haven't been checked in. Gates, um, you got Nate Finley. It's a lot quicker, Mark though, when you're actually Finley. driving. You're like, oh, wait. John Arrowwood. What? No, John, I saw you, didn't I? Okay.
So there's a little uh, cars getting close together, so we had to red flag Cal. Cal gets a rerun. Braden is a DNF. right now um, I'm trying to get the GoPro set up on some other drivers cars so uh, so it's just a little bit more than just Honda content for today but we were having a blast so far everyone's having a really good time Day of autocross with my buddies. It was especially cool to have Junior out there in his Jetta. 
but just been kind of thinking a little bit lately and I kind of want to get y'all's opinion on something here. Uh, I, I kind of already have my mind up anyway, but I just want to get some validation from you guys or at least some constructive criticism from you guys. As you can see, we've moved a few cars around here and I guess my plan is what I'm trying to do. I don't know for sure if it's going to happen, but I really want to start investing time and some more money into this car and have this be the dedicated autocross slash time attack track build, whatever. And the reason being for that is this is a clean title, all matching VIN, 2000 Honda Civic SI, true EM1. Okay, I've done all sorts of maintenance on it. That was all OEM Honda red labels. So I really, I just want to put the car back to bone stock and just leave it alone, just restore it, paint the bay, reseal the motor, do whatever I got to do to keep this thing looking nice and clean for many more years to come. This has been a very solid, fun platform to be I guess learning on, if you will, this is my second autocross event in this car. And like I said, I've really enjoyed doing it. I just feel bad about beating on the car that hard. I mean, I'm really not beating on it too hard, but I just feel bad about driving it so spiritually like that. So it's kind of why I was thinking, I got this K-Swap right here on the floor. We can get into that, details on that later. Then I got this as a solid structural platform that I've never touched. I haven't touched this car for like seven years. Uh, I don't know. You, you guys probably know nothing about it. It's a 1996 Honda Civic EX. Also all matching VIN. Um, I have a DC EG front subframe assembly that I'm going to put up underneath this thing. Probably just going to leave the two. I don't have them in here right now, obviously. But uh, put in the driver and passenger front stock seats and then leave the rest of it gutted. Uh, all sound deadening has been removed from this thing. Uh, it has the Integra GSR front and rear disc brakes on it can see it's the mod that i did back in high school i think i was like a sophomore in high school but this is actually like a really clean car and yeah engine bay has been paint matched and refreshed it's got a save on carbon fiber hood on it that's extremely dusty so like i don't know what, what do you guys think you think i should go ahead and throw a subframe up under here put that motor in there get a trans and then just race this instead of the em1 let me know down in the comments what you guys think but Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.